Hello everybody, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Uh, exactly where we left off last episode, and we're about to go to the church, I think. And straight away, autosave, which we know by now is never a good thing. Don't really want to start digging up graves, I don't think. Hmm. All right, Jules, come on, do something about this. Is that what you're doing? Just the one. <laughs> Come on, sort it out. I seem to remember something about this. Don't get attacked by hordes of the uh, the bomb carrying thingy. What's it? Whatever they're called. Oh yes, there we go. Just about to conduct a small experiment. If you have interest in magic and science, you'll oblige me by taking part in it, will you not? I have left this area among a few pernicious little friends who are simply bursting with the anticipation of supper. Yes, it's the guys with the bombs. Well, they simply abhor uncle meat, so if I were the one to chai you before ripping you, ripping out your throats. Very nice. Now your job is to put up a might of resistance against your inevitable death, sounds good. Yes, okay, right then on your mark, get set, go. Oh, oh, that can't be good. Um. <laughs> now then, what do I need to do here? I think for starter we need to move you back. Uh oh. Right. Uh, let's get you out of the way. Because you're very fragile. Oh, I don't want to do it while he's there. Wait, 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 wait. Right, here we go. Right, we're going to dump it down the spirits, I think. Good God, look at them all. Looks like this is going to take a while. Oh, no, 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 I can't explore when they're wet. That's good, that's good, that's good. Well, how do we get them out without killing Jahan? They're all going for Jahan. On me. <sighs> ah! 
Oh, there we go. We survived the majority of it. I think. <laughs> right. Uh, let's have you. Okay, that hardly touched him. Oh, Ogre, oh you're in deep shit. Oh, no, not that one. That one. Thank you very much. Let's get you out with that. There we go. Right. Move away from Jahan, this isn't fair now. <laughs> uh, I think we've got we've got oil, still got oil there. Damn it. Take the chance. Jahan. I think these will be in range of jewels next. We can get rid of these, I think. Yes. Excellent. Hey, excuse me. Oi! Can we hit you now? Yes. One blind failed every time. Let's knock him down. Very nice. Jahan, don't believe it. Can you? Oh, hang on. <laughs> nice. This is the last one. Excellent. Jahan, throw that on all grey, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> oh dear, 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 this is going to take a while. something worthwhile out of this. It doesn't look like it. What's that not showing up? And that. And that. Oh, there we go. How to speak troll zombie edition. Right, have a quick squint at what we've got here now then. Uh, check the books, read, recipe unlocked. That's absolutely bobbins, and so is that. Nothing really of much use to me there, I don't think. Right. Where's next? Oh. Jahan wishes a word. Cheery spot we found in this graveyard, as rife with signs of necromancy as corpses are with worms. Or perhaps necromaturgy is more fitting, if rather contrived word for what we've witnessed here. To the graves are drawn and into the grave they creep, the maggot musterers that plague Sizeal with their petty witchcraft. None of them grasp the necromancy, true necromancy, it's the pursuit of life everlasting. That its, uh, its end goal is to play chess with death and topple his king. Necromancy as we know it is an art practiced by baseborn dilettants. That is the real tragedy we are confronted with. What a mouthful that is. Right, eternal life, it does sound tempting amid all this horrid death. Necromancy is not an art and immorality is but a fantasy. You do well to realise that. Hmm... Indeed, whether necromancers can attain immortality or not, the abominations they are responsible for are unforgivable, correct? Ah, how sadly predictable it is to a certain that the swords of ignorance have cut out your dull little eyes. Like they have in so many, very many. You are blind to the ambition, however pure and true, that drove the patriarchs of necromancy. Simply because its purity has been veiled of late in the common horrors of the coffin. And yet you do not disappoint me, Sauce Chaser. 
for I never expected to find much lucidity, lucidity of mind within the confines of a mere huntsman's skull. Nice, okay. What have we got this way? Uh, better put a quick save in there, just in case. I don't know where we are here. So this uh, Ebenezer guy doesn't want to go to the afterlife. Until we meet again. For some reason. Strange. Strange well, hello there. A mortal heart. Well, surely I don't have to tell you how much better a life or death here in Riverland is compared to a dreadful eternity in the Hall of Echoes. Why are you ghosts hanging around here? Beats me. We're hardly the only Sci Ceilings lost at sea. But there's some strange magic of what of late. The dead can't seem to stay that way. We were all aboard a ship headed to Arata to Fair Seal, Fair Sci Seal. But upon our return, the lighthouse failed to shine its light. Ah! We were lost upon the rocks and flung far and wide upon the tempestuous waves. Well, we knew who did that, and that was the uh, guy at the lighthouse. The name's Ebenezer. Please do your acquaintance. You've probably been meeting some sad soldiers here. But I'm sure as hell ain't one of them. In life, my interests were soft leathers, southern vintages, sun-ripened afternoons, and ample flesh companions. Each sense was a source of new and familiar pleasures, and I luxuriated in, on, in them all. As a ghost, I admit that many of those pleasures have aided me. A river on that still smacks of life more than the halls I ghost could. We'll have the fun of sharing your exploits with Ike here, you know. I want to give find my little buddy again, the best listener I ever had. The pleasure of regaling. Who's your little buddy then? The ship that sank, the ship that sunk, <laughs> and turned us all into phantoms. She was home to a sweet old tomcat, Oscar by name, who curled up because she's going to be on my pillow. We shared many stormy nights while I scratched his chin and whispered stories of my useful exploits. But I reckon cats don't stay on as ghosts after they pass because a little furball is nowhere to be seen. That or lucky bastard managed to survive the wreck. He was a scrappy old fellow after all. Uh, Hollow Echo was the final resting place of those deemed worthy of paradise. Paradise, uh, paradise after life. <laughs> Look around, paradise is only your eyes. Or in my case, gazing through the ectoplasm and seeing the wide, wild world around you. Can you imagine anything worse than being stuffed up into oblivion with the rest of the dead? Give me tragedy, chaos, beauty, and delight. My companions could do well, would do well to stop pinning, pining, and start enjoying. No? Until we meet again. Okay. Oh, have we got that? Waypoint portal? I don't think we have. Let's go and have a look. So we need to find this cat. And we are now uh, coming up to 20 minutes into the uh, the episode. So I think we will call it there because we've got another fight coming up. And these fights normally take about 10 minutes at least. So we'll leave it there for this episode. Guys and girls, if you like, please leave me a like and a subscribe. It's very helpful. Thanks very much guys, this is All Grey signing off.